Hello, hello, hello. It is Rocket in here, and as usual, this is my time to do another podcast. But before I will start um, doing the storytelling, I'm going to play a little music. Let me choose here. A sound, actually. Hang on. So there you have it. So my topic for today is my exaggerated postcard. And before um, I will get deep into the subject, I just want to say I hope you are doing well and you are having a wonderful time. So I am going back to my subject, which is the exaggerated postcard. Um, I know that I had a few po- uh, podcasts talking about um, collecting postcards. I went blank there for a moment. And as I went on, I think this has only been my two months, I started noticing patterns as well as my style of uh, postcard collecting. And one of those postcards that I uh, that curious me is those oversized uh, pictures. In the very beginning, I was confused what they are, but they're just an you know it is like just imagine this: you have a postcard, and for example, um, there's a lot of uh, pictures in that postcard, but there is that one giant picture in there. And I had said to myself, I wonder what kind of postcards they are. But that time, I was not really good at uh, looking at them. What am I looking for? Am I just confusing myself? Are postcards all the same? And then over a period of uh, days or maybe weeks, I start noticing about the exaggerated postcard. So, um, if you want to know what is uh, exaggerated or exaggeration postcards, uh, let me tell you that since picture postcards were first created, they have been instrumental in documenting a local history. Um, as, as much as I could like, I also start writing, picking up some of the postcards and then I start writing whatever comes to mind on that certain moment. So, I start also writing my own memories and I think that is very very neat uh, to have those type of uh, uh, a hobby or something that someday I will be able to say hey I have some postcards and hopefully somebody will uh, will find it and they start reading what's going on in my world so uh I know that dating from 1905 to 1950s, exaggerated and tall tale postcards originated from the pioneer bravado of the Western expansion and were extremely popular in the Great Plain and rural rural communities hoping to form an identity for themselves as a place of agricultural wealth. Uh, This type of postcards were promoted agrarian and wild benefits to a public that was aware of the exaggeration and were used to uh, advertise the products and unique aspect of a region. The common theme among the postcard was immense, immensity, fishing, hunting and riding oversized animal, harvesting fruits and vegetables or wheeling in massive she- uh, sheaves. And in my case, I have actually one that uh, called a uh, chocolate, which is a combination of a, uh, oh gosh, what is that, like an antelope and a bunny rabbit. But they are huge, so in that picture, uh, the chocolate was just standing in the middle of the road, but it takes over the focus if you're staring at that particular one. And I also have the Chinese uh, peasant. In this picture, um, it is actually the Chinese peasant, which is Oregon's famous game bird, is also actually uh, standing on the road, I mean in the field, but 
it is way bigger than um, everything in, in its surrounding. And I also have the giant, uh, the half grown um, peach that was actually in the back of the card. Now, uh, I may or may not uh, fit, not feature, put them together as a collage. And that will be the picture I'm going to use for uh, this particular podcast. Or I will just pick up one particular pictures so you understand that this is what it meant by uh, exaggerating exaggerating postcard. It's like, uh, okay, just imagine this. like uh, in a tractor, a giant cauliflower is actually sitting in the back. But it is actually bigger than the truck itself, or it could be a cabbage sitting in a in a railroad or a railway. But it's it's a giant. Um, I think it was born. It's a giant cabbage that it covers everything. The same thing with celery, or it could be fishing. Like you know, there's a picture of a fisherman and a fish, and the fisherman cut the fish, but the fish is so big that the fishermen start running. So those are the type of uh, um, samples that I can think of when it comes to exaggerated type of postcards. Um, if you are curious what they are or what type of postcards, or maybe you're thinking about um, collecting postcards, hey, you know, uh, subscribe to my podcast and uh, send me an email. And I will be happy to respond to your question or your comment. So this is my podcast for today. And as usual, this is Rocket saying, have a wonderful day. Bye.